Happy New Year, everybody. Um, this is actually going to be my first 2022 video blog. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I'm still in Europe finishing off on my um, book uh, promo campaign uh, that I started uh, late last year. Uh, basically, I uh, started promoting In Social Media with Trust, which is... Uh, uh, you know the combination of things that people started sharing on their social media platform during the pandemic as well as how public service announcement were um, basically transmitted via social media platform and other news organization utilizing the social media platform to educate uh, the population regarding the pandemic you know predominantly of the world basically shifted using their social media platform to receive news and updates um, you know regardless if there were some fake news um, that was also transmitted on their Facebook Facebook, uh, Facebook page or social media platform but for the most part uh, the world and you know the population of this planet is uh, fast gravitating towards social media so that's the title of this book it's called in social media we trust obviously you shouldn't trust everything that you see on social media until you verify check and make sure that it's credible but uh my book project started off um early 2020 actually it's when i started drafting the book and uh just kind of pay attention to what was going on it was perfect timing to utilize uh, you know the things that are happening on social media because it's never happened ever in the history of mankind where you know people are simultaneously sharing information on social media and interacting on social media when there's an ongoing pandemic never in human history is uh, a pandemic and the population that is um, actually dealing with the pandemic was able to chronicle and share their ideas views comments suggestions whatever it is they, you know, ended up having to utilize the social media platform to record uh, what was going on on this planet because of the pandemic. So that's pretty neat, huh? It's never been done before. It's uh, a new world, new normal is, I guess, what most people would call it. It's the new normal uh, in the new world marketplace where people are able to chronicle and record uh, things that are happening simultaneously via their social media platform so check this out it's uh, you know it might provoke your thought of you know hopefully uh, some of the contents would be some an eye op opener to those people that have never really grew up in the social media world you know there, there's a lot of generations be before us that have never had the opportunity to participate in such a social global uh environment where people are exchanging ideas minds and you know the meeting of the minds is what i call them when you get on your social media platform it's you're meeting with people and you exchange ideas and, and learn from each other and you know cultivate your you know uh mindset and develop your mindset and worldview because of the exposure that you've gained through social media you know like i was saying i was i'm currently here in europe and most people you know back home in the states uh have never been to this part of the world so they're able to see what you know uh europe looks like via social media and this is you know basically happening all over the world you know people are being exposed to things that they've never had the access to or didn't even know about so that's that and the second book is about my campaign during a pandemic uh, as you all know i run as an independent candidate uh, in the u.s senate in 2020 uh, granted it was my very first you know go at it i've never really thought that uh, a pandemic was going to engulf the, the whole world when me, a no nobody, no name politician, or I, I wouldn't even call myself a politician. I'm more of a, you know, a person that wants to uh, evaluate things and see if there's a way for us to improve. So uh, I wouldn't call myself a politician. Maybe I would um, label myself as someone that is um, an active learner, and I believe 
uh, public service people should be an active learner. Um, with that said, so this is uh, called Face Economics, A World Reset. It's available. Both books are actually available on Amazon now. So check them out um, and, you know, let us know what your thoughts are. If you enjoyed reading the book, if it provoked you um, in any way, shape or form, uh, let us know. Uh, all of this is pretty much an evolution of the marketplace. We're chronicling things that could most likely be improved down the road in 10 years 20 years from now uh, maybe these books will be improved and, and you know people will say oh well that's uh, a new concept it's something that we would want to kind of utilize as a you know a template so maybe some of my books will become a template for people to uh, utilize in their own marketplace in the domestic market in, in their home countries so maybe that will turn out to be, you know, uh, a benefit and become a, a value to people around the world. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, you help us share the word. I'm, I'm not a well-known author. Um, you know, I just happen to enjoy learning and I enjoy sharing some of my thoughts with the public and, and kind of, you know, provoke them to think outside the box or to maybe think, be make their box bigger maybe would be a better um, way to put it but uh, my name again is Almina for those that are just you know watching this video for the first time just never heard of me I'm um, the concept author of face economics the utilization of the social media platform in economic development so going back to my book this is um, you know a uh, new rendition uh, of the way I write just because this is more personal, uh, this is my own experience running as a former U.S. Senate candidate or U.S. Senate independent candidate in the 2020 election. Uh, you know, I wasn't given the opportunity to compete. I really didn't get the chance to debate. Uh, both of my competitions were well known and heavily funded and, you know, I guess uh, they have quite a bit of a network within their parties to help them advance uh, or even promote their names and, and ideas and you know overall objectives unfortunately I didn't get any, I didn't have any of those um, I'm not a no-name candidate without any money without any much not, not a whole lot of support uh, so I guess uh, that constitutes that I shouldn't be a part of a debate or be able to compete I guess to some people within uh, you know the election uh, school of thought maybe that's how they see things maybe they're still thinking as if we're still in the 19 or even 1848 when the parties were created um, anyway um, my name is Al Mina thank you for joining me uh, please check out my books uh, there's several books that I've already published uh, prior to publishing these two but uh, this uh, last two books uh, actually pertain to, you know, the fourth industrial revolution, the utilization of the social media environment during a pandemic, during uh, election season in America, and then how things are evolving. You know, the world didn't reset during the Y2K event that took place, you know, back, I guess, 22 years ago. You can even... Uh, <laughs> go back that far and remember what happened before the Y2K uh, event took place. Everybody said that things are going to basically reset and, you know, life as we know it will cease to, you know, continue and all sorts of things. But that wasn't the time. 20, you know, 2020 was the time the world was reset just because of, you know, uh, how technology evolved and simultaneously participated in this perfect storm that we call the pandemic. So the pandemic basically created and opened up opportunities in various markets to either expose their flaws or improve their flaws, you know, create core competencies that they never thought that they will be able to create uh, just because of the necessity to be able to advance and, and, and continue to develop their markets and operate as a country you know each societies throughout the world had to find a way to evolve using you know technology 
when there's a pandemic, a global pandemic going on. So uh, some countries you have use you know apps on their smartphones to check you know uh, vaccine records. Some use you know their smart. Some countries and, and health officials have elected to monitor the owner of a smartphone that had been infected by the coronavirus. So who would have thought that humanity would evolve in such a way that we're using technology as if it's air, as if it's water, as if it's, you know, shelter. We're using technology to house us as human beings, if I can, you know, describe it that way. Technology is housing our shell of you know uh, existence in this new normal in this new world market you know forget about what took place in the years 1900 1990s and back then or even you know 15 years ago forget about all of that because what's up ahead is significantly going to be much better much easier for people to live and we get to enjoy our lives finally you know um, in the past, yes, there's, there's been people that have elected to do telework, for example, working from home or working from a remote location. In the past, people would, you know, look down on people that were working from home. Uh, today, just because of the pandemic, that actually extenuated the whole work from home environment, you know, logic. And everybody is pretty much granted if they want to and, and have the opportunity to uh, work from home if they so elected. So that's a great incentive for people to balance work and life simultaneously because of, of the pandemic. You know, it exposed so much flaws in the old way of thinking, old school of thinking, old mentalities, all old you know, um, basically opinions, ideas, systems, you know, everything uh, that was pre-archaic operational-wise in business, in, in management, um, in health, in politics, policy-making, was exposed by this, uh, you know, pandemic. Maybe, you know, we ought to start thinking about what we should do from here on out because the world was reset you guys might not want to accept that the world is new and the world have reset itself without any permission from anyone the, the world did not ask for permission for anyone to change their systems to change their mentalities to change you know their overall objective and, and how they would like to proceed with their lives Unfortunately, in the past, you know, there's this cookie cutter thing. Everybody should have this, this, and this lined up, you know, make sure your ducks are all in a row just so that you would be happy. But that's not the case. It's never been, and it will never, it wasn't before, it wasn't, it's never today, and it will never be the, the case for people. You know, life is supposed to be interesting for people. It's not a cookie cutter system where, you know, you're, you're, basically uh, lining up things and making sure that things will work out as you plan because life doesn't work as the way that you want and hope for it to be. It works uh, in mysterious ways. It just basically happens and you learn to adapt to it and, and you, you know, find a way to advance on your own. Uh, with that said, my name is Al Mina. I'm the concept author of the uh, Face Economic Concept which is the utilization of the social media environment and economic development. Uh, as I was talking previously, you know, the markets have changed because of social media, because of the do-it-yourself uh, lessons learning available uh, on your social media platform, lessons learned, lessons that will come become lessons, uh, markets and, and how new industries and new ideas and new, you know, uh, concepts that previous that were previously thought of as kind of loony or asinine or you know it'll never happen because it doesn't make sense to people. 
now everything's taking place the way it is it just kind of meant to be it evolved and transition from the first second third fourth fifth industrial revolution is taking place and the markets and the world will continue to evolve you know and that's just the reality of things you know uh people evolve societies evolve you know uh, our way of adapting and our ability to adapt evolves so yeah please tell your friends about our concept is called face economics uh, but also make sure to look us up on amazon look up check these books out you know i'm they're not perfect you know by any stretch of the imagination they're not perfect uh, i would say as the author they're not perfect but i believe that i've started to plant the seeds for people in other societies, maybe even if after I'm no longer on this planet, maybe some people would gain some ideas off of the books that I wrote and, you know, use that to improve their environment, improve their communities, improve their uh, countries, their life, and, and, you know, how they interact with people that don't think, look, and act like them or even think like them or, you know, whatever, speak the same language as they do. So uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope um, I kind of managed to, uh, you know, provoke your thought. You know, I, I'm not the type of person that just basically say, you know, everything ought to be the way it ought to be. I'm the type of person that likes to, you know, kind of evaluate things and see if there's a way for us to provide a solution or improve a condition. Um, and continue to you know advance and make things better um we're, we're not robots obviously there's already robots operating in various countries even in the service industries there are already robots out there but i think as humans as people with you know uh a god-given ability to think uh, then i believe we ought to utilize uh, our senses, our, you know, our um, creativity and, and a way to expand our school of thought, the higher learning uh, uh, um, of oneself. I think that's very important, especially now, you know, wealth is not going to be defined by material things any longer because people will get access to material things fairly easily in, in this part of you know, humanity, uh, the evolution of the marketplace and the resetting of the world will open up the floodgates for people to gain access to mater material th things. So the new wealth is going to uh, be depicted via our ability to uh, gain knowledge and deploy what we've learned and, and make that uh, a gold standard uh, where people um, are able to benefit from knowledge uh, because knowledge is an intangible good you know you can steal your 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 people can steal your car people can steal stuff from you material things but they'll never be able to steal your knowledge uh, unless you share that knowledge with them so make sure that uh, you gain knowledge you know and a increase your capacity as an individual and share that capacity to help those that are trying to also increase their capacity um, that's what we're here for that's what humans ought to be and should be about and and um, be able to uh, learn and adapt and influence other people you know so uh, that's how the world have been evolving in the last you know many centuries um, but unfortunately they didn't have the tools that we now have which is the social media environment so our reach and our scope as well as our magnitude our sphere of influence um, were basically supersized by uh, the social media environment by technology so yes there's going to be downfall there's going to be problems that will arise and there's going to be people that are not going to be happy with you know 
the snooping around on our social media platform. There's a lot of snoopers and there's a lot of, you know, invincible spies and all these things that are happening behind closed door or on the back end of this uh, World Wide Web or Internet. But at the end of the day, you as an individual um, will be the subject matter expert of your life, okay? You ought to be the author of what you do and what you excel in and what you want for your life. Yes, there's going to be invincible haters. There's going to be invincible um, <laughs> ice that are going to be monitoring you, but that's because they don't have anything for themselves. You know, they're... they're basically um, haters because they don't have what you have and so be the author of your life take charge of your life and, and you know expand your horizons again my name is Al Mina I'm the face economics concept author which is the utilization of social media thank you for joining me you know the more haters you you acquire the more influential you become and so don't overly you know uh, over exert yourself by worrying about those haters um, think about it as them trying to uh, find flaws in you because they don't want to have to deal with themselves so with that said Thank you so much. I hope you all have a wonderful, great, productive, meaningful, and loving 2022. Take care. Bye-bye.